Hi everyone! Welcome to a YesStyle video, but instead of makeup, we're gonna actually be reviewing some clothes that YesStyle kindly gifted me. So, uh, I know I've never really done a clothing haul before, but I do definitely enjoy fashion. Like, I totally went through that tomboy phase where I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wear boy clothes for the rest of my life. But especially once I grew up and I realized I need to stop caring what people think, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and be cute and be girly. And so I've been really enjoying it. So I love using opportunities like this to just like continue to push myself out of my comfort zone, get used to loving skirts, being you know, happy to wear skirts and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be really fun for me to share some stuff I got. So for those of you who don't know, I am about 171 centimeters to 172 centimeters, depending on what time of day it is. So as a result, things on YesStyle can be a little bit dicey because there's a very high chance that stuff is going to be too short on me, both like top and bottom. So for those of you at a similar height with me, I hope that this video can help you. The things I picked, if I'll let you know if they were too long or too short. And I do have a video that I'll put in like the roll of me wearing the clothes so you can see I'll like do like the turnarounds and I'll like pose and act cute and stuff like that so you can see what the clothes look like on me. So we're gonna start off with the skirts just because I got some really good skirts and I really love them all. I'm gonna put the product image and, and like I'm gonna put like a screenshot of the product image edited in so you can see like the price and everything and everything of course will be linked in the description box but first off I got this really cute skirt that has this plaid pattern on it and I definitely never have owned a skirt like this before so I wanted to try this. I definitely have a thing for pleated skirts you'll see that or like a-line skirts i cannot wear pencil skirts everything i own is a-line so this was really great and i got it in the size large because i wanted it to be long but you'll be able to see in the video it's too big on my waist however the nice thing is it does come with these little this little pom-pom belt and you can see that there are um, belt loops so you can thread your own belt through or you can just thread the pom-poms through it and then you can tie it and it'll fit your waist however if you're like me and you're not a super big fan of the way belts look on you then you are gonna have to like I would have to like take this in or something like that um, unfortunately it's a little bit too big on me I mean it looks fine it would fit on my hips just fine but as a waist skirt which is what I got it as it's a little too big now I will say it's really nice and thick so this is almost too thick to wear in the summer I could totally see wearing this in the winter with some leggings or tights. The, fab the fabric is definitely a nice thick material. There are shorts on the inside. Got a skirt on the inside kind of a thing. Uh, it's hard to show you but there is shorts on the inside which I definitely love so you're not gonna like flash anybody. So that was the first skirt that I got. This was a little bit more on the pricier side of YesStyle clothing so I don't know how much I can necessarily recommend it but I definitely enjoyed it so if you like it I don't think you'd be disappointed. The next skirt I got I definitely have a thing for Burberry specifically all their plaid stuff like I love their plaid aesthetic. I really really love Burberry's aesthetic and there was this one skirt of theirs that had such an interesting pattern. If I can find a photo of it, you'll see it. I'll like pop it in really quick for you guys. But it was this really beautiful mini skirt, and I like high key wished I could have had it so bad. But it's nine hundred ninety five dollars. I mean, I guess if I had like a really rich friend who wanted to give me something like that, I'd ask for it. But I personally, uh, oh well. So, but yes, style did have, and I did see some similar dupes to it per se on like Shein and Romwe and stuff, and people were hyping it up. But then I would go dig deeper into the reviews. And instead of being yellow, when people received it, it was like super salmon-y colored, which I was like, no, it's gotta be the yellow plaid. So I actually found this skirt on YesStyle. It's not the same cut as Burberry, so it's, but it has that yellow plaid feeling of Burberry. So it definitely scratches the itch for me. The fabric is actually a really nice material. Um, you know, the edges are hemmed really well. Like I have seen some skirts that you can get off of Shein that the edges are just cut raw. It's not even hemmed. Um, they actually like finished the edges. And of course, Course, like with all the other skirts there are shorts on the inside look shorts uh, so this definitely is really great now there are no belt loops so if this is too big for you you're kind of out of luck thankfully it fits me pretty well um, especially if I wear this with something that I tuck in the what I tuck in will give that extra kind of um, thickness to my waist that will let this fit really well. Definitely a real winner and this was definitely, this was not that expensive. So for scratching the Burberry itch, I would say this is a good buy. I really liked it. And because it has shorts built in and I got it in a pretty large size, this does cover my butt. I can wear this and I won't be scandalous. So that's definitely a plus in my book. 
All right, next we're gonna move on to tops. I got a couple of tops because I definitely do have a wealth of skirts. I'm like so finicky about tops. I can never find a good top. So I always end up having like no tops, but like all the bottoms. I don't know if anyone else has this problem. So I tried my best to get some tops off of Yes Style that I would like and kind of a mixed bag. I guess it's just hard to find tops that I like, I guess. But um, this first one, I cannot recommend. This is a cardigan that has a cardigan and tank top set. And I just got the cardigan. It looks like this and um, you know, it's, it does doesn't have very much stretch but the biggest thing about this the fabric is fine so looking at it yourself the lace isn't itchy either like it's not like luxurious lace but lace as somebody who wears lolita fashion this is pretty like you know run-of-the-mill lace but it's not itchy but where you can definitely tell that this was not this is like obviously very cheap is the fit this does not fit well at all so you know if you've ever listened to somebody in fashion talk about the way clothes are cut to save money they'll sometimes cut the fat they'll sometimes lay the patterns not in line with like kind of almost like the grain of the fabric so to speak and if the pattern is not in line if it's kind of slightly offset like diagonally to save money then you're gonna end up with sleeves that twist and don't fit and you're gonna end up with like shoulder wrinkles and it's just gonna feel really strange and this is exactly what happened so um, I have video of me wearing this you can see it is very ill-fitting on me furthermore I believe this came in one size and as somebody who is taller that means my shoulders and my rib cage are going to be wider which means that this is also probably slightly too small on me so i would say if you are like you're under 165 centimeters i think you'd be fine and the, the ill fit of it wouldn't even be a concern because your shoulders are small enough that it's going to fit but once you start reaching my shoulder width which is about 38 to 40 centimeters you're going to start running into problems so this is going to be a no from me i'm going to be passing this along because i can't fit it and i definitely think once it's washed it would even be more ill-fitting for me next i got this top that i have like i've had it on my saved list for a really long time because of how cheap it was and it was just so cute and then it kind of started being a little trendy it's this little knit tank top i know you guys have seen this before especially it's like on the yes style bestsellers page like all the time so I finally bit the bullet and decided to give it a shot. The buttons are completely cosmetic, um, so it's a completely front solid, so you can't button it up or anything. And the straps are just a strip of fabric that's been sewn. There's no finishing or anything, and the straps are just this thin fabric, So um, and they're not stretchy at all. So if the straps are too loose for you, then you're kind of screwed, I guess. I'll put my measurements in the description box, but um, I obviously have a pretty minimal amount of boobage, so that means that this fits me pretty well. In the fit video, I am wearing a bra underneath this, and you can probably see the straps poking out, and it still fits me, but I would say if you have a medium or larger bust, you might want to stay away from this. I don't know if this is going to be able to necessarily fit over your bust. The straps definitely feel super flimsy, and I could see the straps wearing out first, especially if you wash this and then tumble dry it. So this is something I personally would have to like air dry, and I would almost wonder if I hang it by the straps, if over time the straps will deform and stretch and stuff like that it's not see-through like you, I can't see my bra through it um but yeah it, it was really cute you can see my fit I wore it with a white pleated skirt that I did not get off yes style just got that from some other random place um but yeah I, I would wear this again and I'm definitely gonna hold on to it and then lastly this is definitely the top that I really love the most in this entire haul this is a, another crop top I've like been trying to like be more confident I guess lately so I'm like getting all these crop tops and it has a um it has like kind of more of like that sweetheart neckline with um, a very slightly puffed sleeve so it's not gonna make your shoulders look too big and you can see in the fit it fits me really well actually um and i wear a bra under it of course i act it, it like actually looks super flattering on me and i love it um the fabric is definitely really thin but because it's black it's not an issue so if you got this in a lighter color because i believe this is available in more colors if you got this in a lighter color definitely kind of be warned about the color of undergarments you're gonna wear underneath but if you're getting this in like black or red or anything you don't have to worry about that but i'm still very pleasantly surprised by how well this fits me and how flattering it was on my body yeah if you would fit into this then i would recommend it okay so that's it for the clothes and i got some accessories as well that i will show so the first one i don't have right now because i misplaced it but i will show a video so it's kind of so you'll hear my voice but i got this headband so now i officially have to confess that i am like a closet 
K-pop stan. But basically, um, I know we all saw that infamous Crescent Moon headband. And then the most infamous case was where the stylist actually put it around Rosé's waist. And people just went really crazy over how good it looked on her. But of course, the original headband is like 80 euros on the website. <laughs> so like over $100 for that headband. And I'm sure it's like a great headband. But they sell a dupe of it on Yes Style that I decided to get and try. So you can see the embroidery is a little bit sloppy, which is to be expected, but it's very elastic. And you can see in the video that I actually was able to get it up over my hips and then it can even fit around my waist. So definitely super, super stretchy. So if you get it as a headband, of course it'll be a great headband. But if you were thinking you wanted to kind of wear it like rosé, um, my waist measurements are in the description box. If you're around my waist size, you could definitely pull it off. And I actually think I actually think it looks pretty cute. Good headband and very inexpensive, of course. Okay, so lastly, we have a couple of head accessories. Um, so I got these two hair clips right here. Here. One's red and plaid and the other is solid red and they're just like these big giant head bows And the reason I got these is because I really want to get into wearing more head accessories I feel like they can really complete an outfit like I'd be wearing these clothes Inspired by styles I saw on Instagram and I'd be like why do I look so plain and they look so cute And it's because I have like no accessories and I have no ability to style accessories But you know everybody starts somewhere So I decided to get these to start out with just because they're pretty easy You just stick them on your hair you can see it has has a pretty big clip in the back so it's pretty easy to use you can see on camera that it's pretty cute I like it if I wore a ponytail then it would look even better of course because this is mostly designed for ponytails but my cats took all of my hair bands and I can't find where any of them went so I currently have no headband hair bands but I think you can see how it would look it's probably crooked but like my contacts actually haven't arrived yet so I'm filming this with like negative 5.5 vision so I'm blind but you can imagine if it looked a lot better I'm sure you can imagine that it would be pretty cute right so yeah I really like these and they were very inexpensive so I can recommend them before I get into the jewelry that I got I just want to share really quickly I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet just because I haven't um, decided what pair of shoes to put it in yet but I did get these insoles they're super comfy just make sure whatever shoes you put them in are like looser fit because these are gonna obviously make the shoes kind of become smaller so to speak uh, someone who wears a lot of like Lolita fashion and a lot of likes to wear a lot of weird shoes, these shoes often are appearance over comfort. These definitely can make a huge difference for that. So um, Yes Style sells these for really cheap and you can just buy a whole bunch of them and just stick them in all your shoes. So that's what I, I got these. I really like them. Okay, so lastly, I have earrings and I'm gonna put them on one by one and I'll talk about them while they're kind of on my head. Now, if you watch my older, my first ever Yes Style video where I talked about a necklace I couldn't keep, then you'll know that I can't wear jewelry that is like that costume metal or stainless steel, whatever. It has to be like silver or gold or else I get like infections basically and I get that from my mom. So you might be wondering why I got these earrings if I can't wear them. Well, I did discover I can wear them. I just like take a neosporin tube and I like stick the earring into the neosporin and then I put it in my ear and as long as I take it off at the end of the day and wash my ears and then put in my normal pair that is gold I'll be fine so I do have these for like I wanted to get a couple for like photo purposes for filming purposes because you know I always see everyone else that I watch on YouTube is always so dressed up for the camera and I feel like I'm so plain like I'm wearing a t-shirt right now okay you guys but um, I thought just adding some cute earrings to the mix might help kind of elevate my image a little I guess and also a bunch of these earrings were like cat themed which of course I couldn't resist because they're so cute so as you can see these are asymmetrical earrings and like one side flowers and the other side is cats these are actually and I'll show you once I take one of them off these in particular are super cool because the clasp is completely plastic and it doesn't actually have a place that goes through a piercing so if you don't have piercings you can wear these it has clasps that just basically squeeze on your earlobe I can definitely see it irritating you if you have super sensitive earlobes I don't like to be like pinched or anything but for me personally it's super comfortable and it's really cute you can see here that it's a really cute cat on this side and then on this side it's got the flowers and yeah these are really cute so I'm gonna take one off and show you guys what it looks like so you can see here how it's just that plastic clasp and you can like manipulate it basically because it's flexible you can manipulate it with your hands and then you can just basically use it to squeeze your earlobe and that's how this works all right, these next earrings are asymmetrical. Again, like all of these are asymmetrical because I'm like super into those lately. 
but um, this is two crescent moons and each one kind of has a different dangly on it so you can see that this one is smaller and then this one is more of like a little um, little crystal sphere and um, these have a standard pierce so it goes through the piercing so these go through my piercing the only thing is that the backing is just like kind of like a rubbery clear piece of plastic basically that you squeeze over the backing so it's a standard earring backing but it's not made of metal it's just made of like that clear rubbery material so obviously people have conflicted opinions on that the biggest thing is just make sure it's like you push it securely on so that it's actually going to keep the earring in or else you're going to lose the earring but overall for the purpose that i get these for i really like them if you're looking for like daily earrings to wear everyday workhorse earrings that go with everything obviously don't consider these this is costume jewelry and it should be treated as such here's what it looks like you can see it is just a squishy clear material <laughs> just like that this is the backing and there's a hole through it that go that the piercing will go through I held- I used tweezers explicitly to not drop it, and I dropped it. Okay, this is the last pair, and these are like super super dangly, so definitely out of my comfort zone, and they're- I can totally feel the weight, like, so distracting, but these would def- these are definitely perfect for like if I'm filming or if I have a really cute outfit. They're cat themed, of course. I love cats, and I'm a sucker for cats. And you can see that they're slightly asymmetrical so like this has kind of a more spirally accent and this is more of just like a chain accent and you can see how cute it looks definitely matches with my eyeshadow the most out of everything um the backing is a metal backing but it also has that clear piece of plastic kind of over the back as well i guess just to like press against your ear better i don't know i don't really personally like them too too much because they don't really let your ear breathe but again, I'm not going to be ever wearing these for long periods of time where that would be a concern. So I could recommend these. That finishes my Yes Style haul video. I hope you guys really enjoyed everything that I had to show you guys. I do have another Yes Style clothing haul coming up. And this time, and it's going to be another set of clothes that Yes Style gifted me. So I'm super excited to share those. Those are going to be a little more like comfy and more like sweatpantsy. So I definitely think you guys will enjoy that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely love talking about things besides just makeup so i hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about something other than makeup and aside from that i'll see you guys in the next video bye